This is another Climate Craze video from the You're Not Supposed to Know That files, the Neem project. So what does Neem mean? Neem is an acronym meaning North Greenland Emian. Okay, we know where Greenland is, but why North Greenland? The Neem project occurred here, where the Greenland ice sheet is the thickest. Okay, we now know why that location in North Greenland but what is an Eemian? To answer that, we need to see a chart of the past ice age cycles. Here is a graph of the last 500,000 years. Here is 500,000 years ago. And here we are today at the red dot. The red line represents past temperatures as determined from an ice core drilling which was obtained in Antarctica. This graph represents the last 500,000 years of our current ice age, which is composed of a series of glaciations and interglacial worm periods. Here are the cold glaciation periods, and here are the warm interglacial worm periods. Now, each of these interglacial worm periods have a name. Scientists could have just numbered them, but they decided to name them just like they named their pets. So, here we are in the Holocene Warm Period, and here is the Eemian Warm Period. The Eemian Warm Period was the prior interglacial warm period, which occurred about 120,000 years ago. The other interglacial warm periods also have names, but that's for another video. So, the object of the Neem Project is to drill back into the past and far enough into the past to reach the Eemian period, about 120,000 years ago. Before the drilling of the Neem ice core, none of the previous deep ice cores from Greenland contained enough and undisturbed layers from the Eemian, because the layers had either melted or had been disturbed by ice flow close to the bedrock. The Neem project was the sixth ice core attempt, and it was successful. It was so successful that they were able to drill down beyond 150,000 years. So before revealing the astonishing results, it's interesting to note that this $9 million project started in 2007 and ended in 2012, and the results are still being studied. Here are the 14 countries that participated in the project and the reason for all the international flags. The NEEM project was coordinated and led by the Niels Bohr Institute from the University of Copenhagen. There were up to 30 scientists and technicians working at the NEEM site at the height of the drilling operation. The U.S. Air Force transported all equipment and personnel into and out of the drill site. Only the Air Force C-130 transport planes had special snow ski landing capability that could reach the remote northern location. Within a year after completing the ice core drilling, the surprising results were announced. Greenland ice cores reveal warm climate of the past. And now for the amazing details. The Niels Bohr Institute's official statement says, the climate in Greenland was around eight degrees Celsius warmer than today. Note that the eight degrees Celsius warmer quote equates to 14 degrees Fahrenheit warmer than today. That, folks, is very significant. The last interglacial warm period was much warmer than today's warm period. And then the Neem report goes on to say, even though the warm Eemian period was a period when the oceans were four to eight meters higher than today, the ice sheet in northwest Greenland was only a few hundred meters lower than the current level, which indicates that the contribution from the Greenland ice sheet was less than half the total sea level rise during that period, says Doroth Dahl Jensen, professor at the Niels Bohr Institute, University of Copenhagen, and leader of the Neem Project. Regarding the report's four to eight meter higher ocean level statement, that equates to oceans being 13 to 26 feet higher than today. And if history does repeat itself, like it has done about every 100,000 years or so, Places like Venice and New Orleans will face significant challenges. And finally, the Neem report said, But despite the warm temperatures, the ice sheet did not disappear 
and the research team estimates that the volume of the ice sheet was not reduced by more than 25% during the warmest 6,000 years of the Eemian. In conclusion, this is why it is so very important to study and understand past climates. Only by keeping a population ignorant of the past can climate alarmists push an agenda. Therefore, the best vaccine against climate propaganda is knowledge of the past. Winston Churchill understood the importance of history very well. He said, the farther backward you can look, the farther forward you can see.